And we back like bra straps, no intro. So listen, this is Vach Lombardi. I just wanted to talk about the addition of Amari Cooper and how it directly affects our lineup. Now, these lineups are mostly going to be 11 personnel. Who am I kidding? They're all going to be 11 personnel because we refuse to take a tight end off the field. So that T.E., it's going to represent tight end. It could be Rico. It could be Dalton Schultz. It could be Blake Jarwin. You know, when Jeff Swain comes back, that could represent Jeff Swain. And the tight ends is, I mean, the uh, center is just basically telling us where we're at on the field. So, of course, we got bees here uh, at slot. But this is the look I want. And I think I speak for all Cowboys fans when I say that this is the look that we all want. This is the one that puts the satin on the panties. This is the look that puts the nipple on the titty right here. We got Amari Cooper lined up at the X, Michael Gallup at the Z. You know, we're going to have to live with the whole tight end thing because we refuse to take tight ends off the field. So, sure, leave them there. But B's that slot. This is really the look that we want. Um, now, we, there, there could be some changes to the look. I mean, you know, we could have Coop at X, B's in the slot, and Deontay Thompson out there at the Z, but, you know, we don't really want Deontay Thompson at the Z. Uh, we could have um, Cooper at the X, we could have Beasley in the slot, or we could have Alan Hearns at the Z, but, you know, I don't really think we want Alan Hearns at the Z. Uh, we could do something strange, like leave Amari Cooper right there, and this image basically dictates what I really think. I don't think Cooper's coming off the field at all. All. And I'm fine with that. If we're going to pay the first round uh, for him, if we're going to do the fifth year, if we're going to pay him long term, if he's our number one receiver, he ain't coming off the field. But they may do something funky like put Alan Hearns at slot and Deontay Thompson at Z. Um, not I don't I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, I think Hearns would be a better slot guy for his for his troubles. You know, we we've been seeing on film, and you can check out my film every Tuesday. It's a live film session that I do. I watch the offense. Uh, Deontay Thompson. I mean, not Deontay. Thompson, um, Alan Hearns really isn't separating with much speed. So it's it's become a new trend in the league to put slower guys in the slot. You know, they they got less they got less real estate to cover. You know. Uh, so, yeah, this could be a possibility, but, man, who are we kidding, man? That's what we want right there. This is the big look that we're looking for. Um, young Michael Gallup, I don't want to take him off the field. I want him to fully develop into the in, in, into the wide receiver that we, that we want him to be. Um, he needs all the reps, and I need him to get more targets. When we do this receiver by committee thing, we end up distributing the targets evenly sometimes. Besides that one time Beasley had like nine and everybody else had like two and one uh, catches or whatnot. I think those targets that went to Hearns and Deontay put those targets directly into Bees, Gallup, and Cooper. And I think we'll be good to go there. Um, you know, we see that that Gallup has the ability to separate and run the deep ball, right? And what and what better way to run the deep ball than with one on one coverage? How does Gallup? I mean, yeah, how does Gallup get all this one on one coverage? Well, we got Cooper over there just taking all the main attention, and you know, I'm I'm down with that. If we got Cooper taking taking the big attention, then you know, Gallup will get the residual attention. Then Bees will get the hey, I got a slot guy, but there's also a linebacker kind of looking at me too. It just ups the weapons one more step and when we get all of that then Zeke gets to do nasty stuff on the back end it is what it is YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads basically that means more content for you for less than a bag of almond M&Ms you can support the channel call dibs on requests for future videos and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions that's Patreon dot com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. So we'll go for this look. Um we could put the Cooper at slot. We can put Hearns on the other side and B's in the X. That could be a possibility if you just want to move Cooper around. And if he's going to be our number one receiver, I fully anticipate us being able to move Cooper around. So uh, don't be surprised if you see uh, Cooper lined up in the slot. But I want to keep Gallup on the field, so put him out there. And we're not necessarily putting you know uh, B's at the Z. So, I mean, hey, put B's on the sideline. Let him catch a breath or two. Put Hearns out there just for a little bit. Put Hearns out there and then we'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming.
even in this scenario here, right? Like, because at some point, Tavon Austin got to come back. Like, let's not forget that Tavon Austin is a possibility. Um, you know, you could you could put Tavon um, here at the Z. You can put Cooper back at uh, back at X. You can put, you know, you can put Gallup in the slot. We just don't do it a bunch. <laughs> we just don't do it a whole lot. But um, you can mix and match any of these guys um, in any, you know, spot, really. Um Austin, put him outside if you want to run run deep with him. You can put him back inside if you want to do his jet sweep. I think Austin is another guy that needs a few more uh, a, f- a few more targets. He's out now, so I'm really sticking to my big three. You know, really, um, I, I really don't want to deviate from my big three. Those guys there, I don't want to deviate away from them too much. But um, Tavon Austin, when he comes back, he is dynamic speed, so we're gonna have to do something with him. Let's keep Tavon. Uh, you know, keep him in the offense somehow, and uh, and let's just figure this thing out for him. Um, also, if you want this look here, if you want to take out bees, you want to take out Hearns, uh, Tavon in the slot, um, Cooper to the outside, and Gallup on the other side. I mean, I don't, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm really not trying to take um, Michael Gallup off the field. I need him to get all the reps. I need him to be good to go. Um, if Cooper's going to be our number one, then I need Gallup to be a nasty two option um, next year, especially. Uh, or by the end of this year or so, you know, hopefully we can make a playoff run or something like that. Um, I really need Michael Gallup to get all of those reps. Let me put my first team back up there before I wrap the video up. Cool, I'm wrapping the video up. Hey, man, listen, um, if you appreciate this video, just leave a like on it. I really do appreciate everybody that's that's liking the video, man, because all that traffic, especially within the first 10 hours of the uh, video being being published, it helps me a bunch. You know what I mean? It helps me a, a lot, lot, lot. So thank you all for liking that. Also, um, if you just want to help me another way, that doesn't really cost money just a, a free way to help go to my facebook page lombardi's draft talk go over there and just hit like and get out of there um not lombardi's draft talk that's my facebook group but my facebook page go like um Vach lombardi's film sessions pardon me so yeah go check out my facebook group lombardi's draft talk and like my facebook page Vach lombardi's film session um all of those are free ways to support me. Now, if you got a little bread in your pocket, you just got paid or something, and you want to just reward Vach Lombardi for all his hard work, for all his free hard work, you can definitely hit me up on the Patreon or the PayPal. Both of those um, help me massively in their own way. It's up to you. I'll let that decide. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter as well. You know, that thing's getting pre- getting pretty lit over there. It's Vach Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. And the Vach's Voice podcast is on all of your podcast streaming platforms, all right? Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woskin, and Peace, Kiwiski. Till next time. Salute.